I'm going to be Google translating Minecraft mobs 2,000 times and then making whatever result I get. The first mob is a frog. Translate. And we got wise old. For this one, I think I'm going to make Yoda. First, let's remove his feet and legs. And we'll shape him more like Yoda. Now let's give him a head. And I'll color his shirt gray. And his head and feet green. Now let's give him some arms. And we'll color these gray. And I'll extend his second arm out so I can make him hold a lightsaber. Now let's make his ears. And we'll give him a couple eyes. Now let's give him some eyelids. And a nose. And a mouth. And we'll color him brown underneath his coat now we'll finally give him a green lightsaber i think that looks good let's see him in game that isn't right that looks more like yoda look at how he's walking why does that kind of look good something is wrong with his lightsaber though i'm not sure what happened there yo when did yoda learn how to jump like that i wish i could spawn a baby yoda yoda versus a magma cube oh he's running away oh my god they both ate it yoda army honestly the sound they make kind of suits him all right let's spawn a bunch of magma cubes use the lightsaber yoda okay i think these guys are too big i don't know why i like seeing them eat the magma cubes so much it just looks so weird all right i think i'm gonna give yoda a 10 out of 10 i think he looks amazing it's time for the next mob the next mob is the ender dragon translating and we got train for this one i'm going to make thomas the tank engine first let's get rid of all of this next we'll extend the back up a bit and i'll color him blue next i'll give him some wheels and i'll add a little black roof on the back now let's color in his face and we'll draw his eyes and we'll give him a mouth now let's add his nose and next we'll add the train thing on his head and we'll add another one in blue now we can draw some windows and we'll put the red outlines on the bottom and finally i will draw the number one on his side okay that looks pretty good let's see it in game all right we have to make our way to the end oh my god i'm pretty sure there's something wrong with his head yeah i don't think it's supposed to be floating like that all right that looks much better imagine finally making it to the end in your world and then you see this instead of the ender dragon honestly this is a good replacement though i won't lie oh he's perching i love how he flips just like the battle bus enderman watch out there's a train coming through the endermen are not happy anymore what happens if we spawn a bunch of thomases oh god that's too many i can't break it oh no well this might be a problem where are they all going goodbye thomases i guess it's better for them up there anyway that way my fps is safe i'm going to give thomas a 9 out of 10 he looks really funny it's time for the next mob the next mob is the warden what will we get and we got green onions for this one i think i'm going to make shrek first we'll color his head in green next i'll color his shirt a tan color and we'll make his pants brown now i'll draw his vest over his shirt and we'll give him his belt as well now let's make his hands green and i'll give him a big nose and we'll draw some eyes above that now let's give him some eyebrows and we'll give him his mouth now we can add his ears and i'll turn them sideways a little bit now finally i will add his shoes and that doesn't look too bad let's see him in game okay that doesn't look too bad doesn't sound like shrek though if i was this chicken i would watch out oh no shrek is angry i'm sorry chicken let's watch a shrek emerge from the ground wow this is exactly how i remember it in the movie all right let's spawn a bunch of shreks and i think they need someone to fight so let's give them one sheep i wonder who will win this will be close oh the sheep almost had them but seriously let's spawn one wither and see how fast they kill it oh that explosion made them mad time for a warden death ray honestly the wither might win this one they aren't doing that much damage oh never mind the wither seems to be stuck dang not even one shrek died all right i give shrek an 8 out of 10 he looks pretty good it's time for the next mob the next mob is an enderman translate and we got siren for this one i'm going to make siren head first i'll shorten his legs next i will give him a torso now we can make his head into a stick and i'll color him a coppery color now let's add the first siren and we'll color it black and add the teeth now i'll rotate it sideways and i'll copy it over to the other side now let's add texture to his body and i think we're done let's see him in game yeah that's definitely siren head he's not too scary in minecraft though to be honest i mean when he's chasing me it's definitely worse even though his head starts floating yeah there's no way you'll get me now buddy let's go check out the end oh yeah there's 5,000 ender dragons and because of all the ender dragons only one siren head spawn nice all right that should do the trick there's a lot more siren heads over here now all right let's see how long i can survive oh god there's already an army behind me oh god they're all teleporting to me guys i'm sorry i didn't mean to look at you i guess they don't accept apologies oh no i'm on half a heart no i almost made it through the portal i give siren head a 7 out of 10 he was kind of boring it's time for the next mob the next mob is a silverfish translating and we got tiny green for this one i think i'm going to make plankton let's get rid of all these layers and we'll make this part into his body now let's give him a couple of legs and we'll color all this 
us green. Next, let's draw his yellow eye, and we'll give him a red pupil. Now, let's draw his angry eyebrow, and we'll give him a wide open mouth. Now, let's give him some arms, and in the picture I'm looking at, they're up in the air, so let's rotate them up. Now, finally, we can add the antenna type things to his head, and that looks good. Let's see him in game. Wait, that actually turned out really good. I have no idea where he's going, though. I think he's off to find the Krabby Patty formula. Well, then we'll have to bring him to the Krusty Krab. Plankton, I think the Krabby Patty formula is in this chest. I guess he doesn't want it anymore. I think they all died from excitement. What just happened? Did I just lag back in a single player world? Alright, let's spawn a bunch of planktons. And let's put them against one Shrek. Who will win? Shrek doesn't even seem to be bothered by them. Never mind. Run away, Plankton. Alright, I give Plankton a 9 out of 10. He looks better than I expected. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a fox. What will we get? And we got fast. Last time I made a fox, I made Sonic, so this time I'm going to make Tails. Let's color him in dark yellow, and we'll change the shape of his ears. Let's add the white hair at the bottom of his face, and we'll give him some big blue eyes. Now let's draw his nose, and we'll add his white gloves. Next, let's draw his shoes on the back legs, and we'll extend them out a little bit. Now let's color the back part of his tail white, and we'll copy it over because he has two tails, and I think that turned out good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good. Tails versus a chicken, who will win? Dang, Tails killed him instantly. Can Tails use a sword? I'm not sure, honestly. Sword Tails going crazy. Wait, no, you dropped the sword. I guess chicken is a better weapon than a sword. Let's spawn a bunch of Tailses. And let's spawn a rabbit. Which one will get it? I don't think they can reach it. Let's lower it down a little bit. I honestly didn't think they could get it from there. Alright, Tails, what are you gonna do now? Wait, how did he hit that one? Oh no, they're going crazy. I don't know how he got up there. That jump is pretty high. Alright, I give Tails an 8 out of 10. He looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a rabbit. Translate. And we got scared. For this one, I'm going to make Bunso Bunny. First, let's rotate his arms, and we'll make his ears flop down. Now, let's extend the front of his face out, and we'll color his head yellow. Now, let's draw his scary mouth, and we'll give him some teeth on the sides. Next, we'll add his cheeks, and let's draw these green things along with his eyes. Next, we'll color the rest of him yellow, and we'll add his green overalls. Next, let's give him his symbols, and we'll add a hat to his head, and let's color the hat green. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see him in game. Okay, something is definitely wrong with him. But honestly, it makes him look more scary, so I'm alright with it. We're just gonna ignore the floating ears. How does the baby look? Yeah, the ears are still floating. This is very cursed. Might as well just feed them to the Tailses. This one guy is trying to get away. Alright, we'll spawn an army of Bunzo Bunnies, because why not? Why are they just slowly hopping towards me? Now this is scary. I'm being surrounded. Alright, I give Bunzo Bunny a 4 out of 10. Too many things were broken. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a Strider. Translating, and we got Starfish. For this one, I'm going to make Patrick Star. Let's remove the hairs, and we'll make his legs a lot smaller. Next, let's shape his body into a star, and we'll color him fully pink. Now we'll give him some arms, and we'll draw his green shorts. Next, let's give him big eyes, and we'll add his giant smile, and we'll give him a pink tongue. Now finally, we can add the purple flowers on his shorts, and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. That actually looks pretty good considering it's a triangle in Minecraft. Let's find some in the nether, and here we have a bunch of Patrick standing on the lava. Once again, this is kind of weird considering he lives underwater. Let's ride a Patrick. Yo, this looks really weird. Let's spawn an army of Patricks. Yo, it's baby Patrick. And there's also a Patrick with a pig man on top. Let's go, Patrick Army. I don't think I remember this part in the show. Alright, I give Patrick a 7 out of 10. He kinda looks weird in Minecraft. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a witch. What will we get? And we got Hungry Clown. For this one, I think I'm going to make Ronald McDonald. First, let's turn the hat into hair, and we'll color it fully red. Now let's remove his nose, and we'll color his face white. Next, let's give him a red nose, and a big red smile, and we'll draw his eyes. Okay, that actually looks kinda scary. Now let's color his shirt in yellow, and we'll put red and white stripes on the sleeve. Next, we'll add a white collar, and we'll draw a red zipper down the middle. Now, we'll color his pants yellow too, and we'll give him red and white striped socks. Now, let's add his red shoes, and we'll make them black on the bottom. Okay, that turned out kind of scary. Let's see him in game. Somehow, this is the scariest mob I've made yet. Ronald McDonald's versus Iron Golem. Yeah, not so scary anymore. He wasn't even supposed to be scary to begin with. Oh no, the golem is coming for him. Let's spawn a huge Ronald McDonald army. Wait, will these guys fight a villager? Nah, they don't even fight. Why is the Iron Golem so mad at them? Alright, Ronald McDonald versus Shrek. That is a fight I never thought I would see. Uh, Ronald, you got something behind you. Oh no, Shrek is angry. And that's one Ronald down. Alright, I give Ronald McDonald an 8 out of 10. I think he looks good, but he's not supposed to be scary. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a polar bear. Translate, and we got Honey. For this one, I'm going to make Winnie the Pooh. Let's color him fully yellow, and we'll draw his red shirt. Now let's change this part of his face a bit, and we'll give him little black eyes with some black eyebrows above. Now let's draw his pink tongue and a red smile on the sides. 
And finally, we'll give him a little black nose. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. He doesn't look too bad. Kind of big for Winnie the Pooh, though. What about the baby? The baby is definitely a better size. All right, let's give him some honey. That's weird. It doesn't look like they want it. All right, Winnie the Pooh versus Tails. Who will win? Oh god, Tails is already running away. And Tails already outran him. I think I have a solution for that. Okay, never mind. I guess Tails is just too fast. Let's spawn a Winnie the Pooh army. That is just not the sound I would imagine Winnie the Pooh makes. Okay, surely this Tails can't outrun them. Okay, he died instantly. Time to get chased by a bunch of Winnie the Poohs. Okay, these guys are really slow. Alright, I give Winnie the Pooh a 7 out of 10. He didn't turn out too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a skeleton. Translating, and we got Red Puppet. For this one, I think I'm going to make Elmo. Let's color his head and body red, and we'll move this part of his head down a bit, and we'll pull this back a bit so his mouth is open. Now let's color his mouth in black, and we'll do the same on the bottom and top part. Now let's give him a nose, and we'll color his nose orange. Next, we'll give him some eyes, and we'll give him a couple of black pupils. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that looks good. Not sure why the back of his neck is white though, but Elmo has a bow and he came ready for battle. I'm really not sure that's what happens in the show. All right, let's see a wolf versus Elmo. Dang, the wolf is angry. The wolf is running sideways. Elmo better run. This wolf is crazy. That wolf is hungry for Elmo's bones. Okay, he hit him. Oh, he hit him again. And the wolf is running away again. Oh my God, he finally got him. And he didn't even get any Elmo bones. All right, I give Elmo a six out of 10. He's kind of boring. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a creeper. What will we get? And we got pink ball. I think for this one, I will make Kirby. Let's delete the body and we'll move the head down. Now let's delete his back legs and we'll extend the front legs out like this. Next, let's color his legs in dark pink, and we'll color his body in a lighter pink. Now let's give him some tiny arms, and we'll draw his little red mouth, and let's give him some blue eyes, and finally we will draw his pink cheeks. Okay, something looks wrong. That looks much better. Let's see it in game. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. Not sure what's happening with his body right now though, but even his walk didn't turn out too bad, honestly. Let's spawn an army of Kirbys, and now let's spawn a baby Kirby. Oh yeah, Kirbys versus one cat, who will win? I don't know why they're afraid of one cat. Let's see a charged Kirby. Oh god, they're all gonna die. I don't think the charge really fits Kirby. Let's see if it can blow up a Shrek. Not even close. Alright, I give Kirby an 8 out of 10. He doesn't look too bad. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a zombie. Translate, and we got money video. For this one, I think I'm going to make Mr. Beast. Let's give him a black shirt, and we'll color in his arms and his head. Now let's give him gray shorts, and we'll color his legs as well. Next, I'll draw the Mr. Beast logo on his shirt, and I'll give him some green eyes, and some brown eyebrows. Now let's do his hair, and we'll give him some white teeth, and now let's draw his beard. Okay, his mouth looks kind of like buck teeth, so I'm gonna change the color. Now finally, we can give him some shoes, and that looks alright. Let's see it in game. That doesn't look too bad. It honestly just looks like a random guy, though. There's no proof this is Mr. Beast. Maybe he'll give this random villager money. Oh wow, he's chasing him to give it to him. How nice. Wait, no, he wasn't supposed to do that. All right, let's see if Mr. Beast can raid a village. I guess Mr. Beast really doesn't like villagers. Maybe baby Mr. Beast is better. Oh no, baby Mr. Beast is fast. That just made things worse. All right, Mr. Beast versus Iron Golem. That was fast. Mr. Beast army versus Iron Golem. Oh no, the Iron Golem is cornered. Dang, they actually won. Should I let him in? Of course I'm gonna let him in. Dang, they left fast. All right, I give Mr. Beast a 7 out of 10. He's basically just a player skin. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a turtle. Translating, and we got water. For this one, I think I'm going to make Squirtle. Let's color his head and arm thingies blue, and we'll also color his legs. Now we'll add a white outline around the shell, and I'll trace over the shell with different shades of brown. All right, just one more color left. That looks pretty good. Now we'll make his head a bit bigger, and we'll give him some purple eyes, and we'll add white to the outside. Next, let's give him some tiny eyebrows, and we'll give him a smile that doesn't look weird at all. Now let's make his spirally tail and that looks good let's see him in game okay let me know if you guys see the problem it's kind of hard to spot i don't really know how this happened so i guess we'll just ignore that but other than that he looks fine how does the baby look i was hoping the baby was the size of a regular squirtle because this guy is clearly too big all right squirtle army okay i have to fix the floating thing okay that looks a lot better squirtle use bubble beam or whatever move he has oh wait i have to catch him first nope the pokeballs still don't work I wish I had made him smaller because right now he's bigger than Blastoise. Alright, I give Squirtle a 6 out of 10, he just doesn't look that good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a villager. What will we get? 
and we got professional. For this one, I'm going to make Matt from Wii Sports because he's good at everything. First, let's change the size of his nose and we'll color in his head. Now let's give him his beard thing and we'll draw his mouth. Next, let's give him some eyes and now we can color his shirt in orange as well as the sleeves and we'll make his pants dark gray. Now finally, we can put the rest of his beard and we'll try to make it look a bit spiky. All right, that doesn't look bad. Let's see it in game. I mean, honestly, he doesn't look too bad. What about baby Matt? Yes, this makes perfect sense. Let's see if Matt can beat me in tennis. I think he's losing. Matt versus Mr. Beast, who will win? Well, Mr. Beast is burning, so this is actually a fair fight. And Matt actually wins. I mean, of course he won. He's mad. Let's find a village full of mats. And they're everywhere. They even have a mat farming over here with something gold on his beard. Let's spawn a mat army. And let's see if Mr. Beast can kill them now. Nah, Matt is just too fast. Where is Mr. Beast even going? He's just given up because Matt is too good. Never mind, he's just going for this one while he sleeps. Oops. The one place you can beat him. I'm sure he just wants to give him money. I'll let him in. Never mind. I was very wrong. All right, I give Matt an eight out of ten. He turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. The next mob is a pig. Translate. And we got angry. For this one, I'm going to make the king pig from Angry Birds, but with a full body. Let's color the pig fully green, and we'll make his nose a slightly lighter green. Now let's add a couple of nostrils, and we'll give him his eyes, and a couple eyebrows on top, and a little mouth underneath. Now let's add his green ears, and we'll make a crown in the middle of his ears. Let's add the spiky parts to the top, and we'll draw some blue jewels in the middle. And that looks pretty good, let's see him in game. That looks pretty good. It was pretty easy to not mess this one up though, to be fair. Let's spawn a baby pig and see how it looks. I think I like it better because of the giant head. Alright, let's spawn an army of angry birds. I don't think they're very angry. Let's spawn a pig army. Now we won't know which one is actually the king. What is Elmo doing in the water over here? Alright, let's make Shrek fight the pigs since the angry birds won't do it. Okay, that's just mean. I have a better idea. Let's see if we can hit any pigs. No, he moved out of the way. Okay, attempt number two. No, that was so close. These chickens don't go very far. Okay, this is my last bird. Let's get a running start. Come on. No, he moved last second. I guess I'm just bad at Angry Birds. Alright, I give Angry Birds pig an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. And that's the last mob. Please subscribe. I don't have an outro.